I am back with my lightning after 50 days, seven hours, 46 minutes and 32 seconds. But who's counting? It's done. It's fixed, as you can tell. If you look on the video now, you can see, like I hit, I hit a deer. I hit it good. That deer is dead. He is gone. He went to deer heaven. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I tried to swerve. There was another car in the next lane. I didn't want to hit the car. So basically that would have been even more damage. So I did the best thing that I could do. I don't know what else to say, but he's dead. Anyways, if you look here, you could see now the footage with all the panels taken off uh, that they had to get fixed. So there was a decent amount of damage in the front. The total ended up being 12,000, uh, a little bit over $12,000 um, for this for this fix. So not that bad, but still a decent amount of money. They had to replace all the bumper stuff here, the fender, uh, all the stuff underneath there, the lights um, and everything. You know, they even uh, took the mirror off. They had to replace a bunch of clear bra, all that kind of stuff. If you can't tell, I'm really excited to have it back. The, there's many different reasons. Like, if you watch my other videos, I'll put some links in there. But I had to spend a bunch of money on gas while I had this. I never really thought about it before. You know, you just go to the tank and you fill it up. And then you're just like, oh my gosh, gas prices have gone up. But it's really not that big a deal. I go for a year and a half to not actually even having to fill up. And then it's just a few dollars here and there to actually charge up with electricity. That is a big deal. A big deal. It's crazy. You'll see it here soon. I'll finish it here soon. I was in the middle of a 100 to 0% test. And it was right around 50%. I'm going to have to reset it. I was at like 50%. And it was doing okay. It was like 170 miles or something like that. I forgot now, but it's been a while. I've slept 50 days since then. And we're going to check and see how everything actually is working so right now as you can see basically replace the whole bumper and let's see here how did they, let's get a close-up of the tire so they had to replace all of this stuff so there's um when they're replacing this this is this rubber piece is sticking out a little bit more They got the crap off of the wheel. <laughs> Looks like there's a little bit of a little bit of poop still there. <laughs> still there right there on the tire. Um, and there's a little piece right here. And I'll I'll give uh, Caliber Collision some props here. Actually, they pointed that out to me, and uh, they had sent this back over to Phil Long because Phil Long was the one that did the clear bra basically there's a little piece of like something that got underneath the clear brawl that's down there i didn't realize that i had clear brawl everywhere but i pretty much have clear brawl on this whole entire thing not the windshield but uh some people do that uh, but yeah it's like they actually repainted this front door here or i mean this yeah the front side door they repainted that um it looks like a brand new truck. I'm actually really excited. There's just a couple little things like that little piece down there. And then um, there was a little bit with the clear bra here. I don't know if you can see it, but a little bit of uh, sap kind of got on a little piece of it right there. Got a little bit of discolorization and a little bit of something back here, a little bit of sap. But I think that comes off fairly easily. So, so they got my truck back the way that it is supposed to be. So there is one thing I did want to point out to you as well. Another little thing here is behind the bumper, somewhere, somewhere behind the bumper here, there actually is a uh, an antenna with a bracket. I didn't know that that's where it is and uh, somewhere behind the bumper I don't know if it's here or it's on the other side but it's somewhere behind the bumper maybe it's in the middle um, but 
that is the part that they have been waiting on. There's a bracket that holds the antenna on there. And what that antenna is for is for the security system. So when you walk up to your car, you're able to, or when you walk up to your truck, you're able to unlock it. Well, that piece never came in and it's on back order. So what they did is the other antenna still works. This is the bracket that broke and they had to order the whole new thing. So what they did is they actually, uh, strangely enough, zip tied it back. It's kind of weird. I know I had, I had to tell them it was okay. I just didn't want to wait and leave my uh, lightning and I had to take my rental car back. So um, I didn't want to wait anymore. So they were okay to zip tie that. I was fine with them doing that. So, but, and then I'm going to bring it in and then they're going to have to take what they didn't want to do because it takes a long time. They're going to have to take the whole bumper off again and get all that whenever the bracket comes in. So basically, I just wanted to tell you about that. That is the one thing that I'm still waiting on to get fixed. And uh, I'm excited though that I still get to drive it. And uh, and yeah, but it's, it's, just, it's just a little piece with like a bracket and then uh, but if they did not connect that, basically, the alarm would go off whenever you try to unlock the door. Not a good thing. So, if you can't tell, I'm like super, super, super excited to have my truck back. I'm sure you're excited to actually be able to record more videos about what's going on with my truck. I'm really excited to finish this 100% to 0% test. Got to get it charged back up now. Uh, my garage has been empty for a little while. My charger's been hanging out by itself. It's been really sad. <laughs> I thought about actually recording a video. I didn't do it, but I probably should have of me just sitting in my garage with like a lawn chair or something and just kind of holding the charger, you know, <laughs> missing the truck. Okay, I'm weird. Y'all probably didn't need to hear all that. Anyways, what we're gonna do, let's get in the truck now and let's uh, let's see how it drives. All right, D, here we go. It's down at 37%. Get that door, man. Ah. Starting this up after a while. Let's see how it does. Oh my gosh, I miss my truck so much. Those of you that watch any of my videos, uh, you'll know uh, I really like sport mode. So let's get it back in sport mode here. Let's get it back in sport mode. And uh, let's get on the road. Let's see how this does. I cannot tell you how happy I am to have my truck back. Oh, this is awesome. All right, well, let's get on the road. Let's see how this drives. Woo hey, look at this. What a beautiful drive. What a beautiful drive. Okay, it's a little windy now. Hopefully it's not picking up. But you notice in the video, uh, as I was uh, showing the underneath the bumper, <laughs> I didn't notice this. I had my uh, camera down there and I wasn't actually looking. But whenever I was reviewing it, right before posting this video, I'm like, hey, something's wrong with that underneath there. It's like kind of a little wavy or not tucked in. So I'm going to go down here. Let's, uh, let's look at this together and see what's wrong. So... Could be something just super simple and it looks like it is actually looks like maybe this is just not tucked underneath here like it should be so i think it's just going to be a matter of pulling this pulling this out so there you have it that was interesting so, looks okay, though. <laughs> looks okay, though, besides that. Well, I'm glad I checked on that, and I'm glad everything's okay. Just had to retuck it underneath there, so anytime you get your car back from a body shop, make sure you go over every single little detail, and uh, it'll be good for you, but... Anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'm actually right in the middle of still recording my 100% to 0% <laughs> motorcycle. 100% to 0% uh, test, uh, basically a reset test that was interrupted by the getting hit by a deer. So stay tuned.
for uh, one of my next videos about that. So it'll be awesome. So I'm really excited about my <laughs> having my truck to back. And so what does any Texan do when he wants to go celebrate? Loads up his wife and goes to Cracker Barrel. Woohoo! I'm excited. And uh, yeah, we'll get we'll get a bunch more videos uh, recorded and and post it for you guys so y'all can learn more about the lightning. Hope you're enjoying watching. I really appreciate you guys watching and I will see you on the next video. Hopefully it's the 100% to 0% test. So be looking forward to that. And uh, I know I'm not the only one that's, that's doing that, that kind of stuff, but this is like real life with a lightning. This is not just renting one or, hey, check this out. I got a friend that has one. No, this is real life. Uh, and I almost got 40,000 miles on it. Kind of crazy. So thank you guys for watching. And I really appreciate you. See you on the next video. Oh, we're back.